guys, it's Amy here with Gold Plating Services. Um, we have recently launched a new plating kit. It's our Pro Lab CM uh, component module, one gallon setup solution. One of the unique things about our Pro Lab is it's custom titanium anode frames. This one, one anode frame will hold a variety of different anodes. We have our stainless steel anode. We have a new graphite anode. We have our platinized titanium anodes, copper, and our bag nickel. Um, today we're going to show you how easy it is to attach each of these anodes to our anode frame. Um, for different types of anodes, it will require either a set of four or a set of two. I've got my number one Phillips screwdriver, and when you order these, you'll receive a titanium screw. It is very important that you use a titanium screw, otherwise you may have rusting. All right, on the anode frame, you'll have six different holes that the anodes can be attached to. When you have a set of four, you will attach to this, 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 and this. We'll show you how it looks once all four are attached. When you attach two anodes, you will go on the center hole, on each side. That way they're evenly spaced throughout the beaker. down most of them are at a good right angle if they're not slightly adjust them just so that when we put them into the beaker they will uh, fit in nice and easy all right this is our new graphite anode um, notice it's about a quarter inch thick it has a bag that will fit up and over it when you receive it, it should look like this um, it's important that when you attach this anode to the frame that the side where this um, tag is attached to is on the inside our bag graphite anode is commonly used with our surface activator our trival solution bright gold and pure gold solution. We're going to show you how easy it slips into the beaker. Um, I hold it up here by the main frame and slightly push it in with my thumbs and it will fit nicely down into the beaker. I like to make sure that the front of my beaker, the back, and then we will oops, attach it on. We'll lower our bus bar and then this is our temperature sensor and it will go through the left side 
And there's three different holes that you'll want to feed that down through. The right side will be for our air tubing for solutions that require the air. We will show you that set up on another anode frame. It is very important that you add the air tubing before you put it into the beaker. All right, this is our add-on air tubing for the Pro Lab. Um, it's easily attached to our anode frame. Notice there on the right side, you'll feed it down through those three holes. Once you get through the bottom hole, you'll have a, a Y and you will just push that through. All right, this is our air pump. This air pump, we actually have a valve on there where it holds eight different leads. Um, that way, if you have a setup with our ProLab module kit, you could have up to eight, 10 different stations with all of your solutions pre-ready. Um, you're just going to attach the other end onto one of, one of the open valves. And then right here, you can control the airflow. So each tube and each solution, you're able to control. All right guys, check us out for more YouTube videos at Gold Plating Services. Look for the Golden Globe.